Greetings YouTube. I'm Master Moses and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I was sitting and pondering as I tend to do and it occurred to me a combination of cards, as you can see obviously this is Yu-Gi-Oh, a combination of cards that would give, as the title implies, infinite life points. Um, so I decided to build a quick deck around it and I'll preface this with this is about a seven or eight minute deck list that I put together. I'm sure er, that uh, somebody can do better. In fact, I'd love to see your deck lists down below. This would be a really interesting style of play to see. Um, so without further ado, I'll go ahead and play the replay. Obviously, this is a replay, hence why you can see both mine and my opponent's cards on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro here. Um, so... First things first, I'm setting up a large part of the strategy revolves around this card, Rainbow Life, here. Now, Rainbow Life, uh, if you're not familiar, it's not a super popular card anymore, uh, allows you to discard a card, and anytime you take damage, you gain that amount for that turn only. So, by combining this with Colossal Fighter, you run into the possibility of kind of a loop being set up. Not an infinite loop that's going to bring up any rules issues, mind you. Colossal Fighter, if destroyed by battle, he can pick a warrior, such as himself, to bring back. Now, a while back, there used to be a combo with Armory Arm, where he could attach Armory Arm to an opponent's monster, ram himself into the monster, blow up, deal the opponent the damage from Armory Arm, come back, and loop over again. They eventually had to errata Armory Arm, in fact, because it was an OTK and it was just way overpowered. So they errated that out. But what they didn't fix was the fact that Colossal Fighter can still attack. Say he attacks something stronger than himself, blows up, he can still come back. So that's a interesting idea to begin with, but where it starts getting really interesting is if you have rainbow life. So say now every time you attack you begin recovering that difference rather than gaining it or rather than losing it. So eh, as you can see here I finally got the setup I needed to be weaker. Now, due to card effects on his side of the field, he's actually doubling battle damage, which was priceless. It really played into my hands here. So, it's pretty much just this. I, I can sit here and attack infinitely. Now, there's, of course, a turn time limit. So, I guess if there's a time limit involved or it's an online play, it's not officially infinite. Um, but, say you were playing in person, you could be like, hey, I'm going to save us both some time here. I'm going to attack 300 times in a row. Now I have 300,000 life points. Now what do you do? There, you pretty much eliminate the opponent's options by raising your advantage so high over them that it's almost impossible uh, to come to grips with. Now, my eventual plan with this, once the time ran down to the very close to the end, is I was just going to bring Colossal Fighter back in defense mode, and then I've got a resurrecting wall that can block off my life points while I figure out something to finish this guy off. However, as you'll see here, he pretty soon after just decided enough's enough, and, well, he took matters into his own hands. Which, I, I suppose I could respect that, seeing as I was less than halfway. Uh, at this point, when I was here at 23,200 life points to his 4,800, he went ahead and surrendered. I had used up maybe about a third of the time that Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro gives you per turn, just standard settings. So I estimate I probably could have gone up another 30 to 40,000 before I ended my turn. Uh, this deck, I mean, it has three rainbow lives, so that's going to uh, allow that to maybe even be set up again in the future. And since Colossal Fighter can work as a wall in the meantime, it makes for a great defensive wall. Um, so like I said, I would love to see each of your combinations to try to pull something along these lines off. Um, I did throw in a Fire Princess as well, so every time I heal, the opponent takes damage. That didn't get uh, brought out in this duel, but I thought this was just an interesting replay to share. For right now, this is Master Moses, signing off.